Hi guys, rubber band powered cars again. In the last episode we modified this car so that we could put a brake on it, which is a bit of string that wraps around the back axle and tightens up as the car goes forward and stops it, uh, in this case at 3 metres. We also modified it by putting a, a thicker axle on it so we could improve the acceleration. Well, today's episode we're going to try and improve the braking mechanism so that when it stops it stays still because at the moment when it stops it then rolls back a bit so what I'm going to do is fit a, a ratchet effect that allows the car to roll forwards but stops it from going backwards and to do that I'm going to use an old video VHS cassette. Before we go too far on this I'll just say you don't have to use these video cassette tapes. Any gear with teeth on it will do the job. It's just that sometimes getting hold of tooth gears is difficult and I know that I can get hold of toothed wheels in here so that's what I'm doing it for. In my craft knife set I've got this square ended blade which I should be able to just push the tops off. There you go, that's popped off nicely. I use these for wheels anyway so they're worth keeping. So, we've now got two of these. We need to fit them to the wheels on the car. And then, I'm going to cut up one of my plastic pop bottles to make a little ratchet that fits against here. Rather than take these wheels apart, I'm going to make a couple of new wheels just so I can save those for other projects. So what we're going to do, bottle tops on one side and these on the other side. Now we need to trim this piece of plastic so it's shorter than the outside wheels but long enough to actually go over these inner wheels. Glue gun ready. a thin amount just to get the position right and then we can add some more. Right then, I've done quite a few modifications since I showed you the build but we'll give it a test run and then I'll go through what I've done. stopped just over the line. I'd better tell you what I've done and then we'll give it another, another test run. Right, since I showed you the build, instead of attaching the string to the hook with the rubber band, I've put another paper clip through the cardboard there, just so that I can keep the string and the rubber band separate. On the build, I did two of these wheels, one on either side, 
that added far too much friction and it was slowing the car right down. So I've done away with one of them. And I've actually coloured in the edges so you can see what I've done. So it's a, a curve of clear plastic. I've curved it right over and glued it down there. That keeps tension on it. And then just left a, a strip that makes the clicking noise. So when it tries to go back it digs in. When it goes forwards it's okay. Right, now we'll demonstrate winding it up. First obvious problem is when you want to wind the rubber band up you need to turn the wheels backwards and the ratchet's going to try and stop you doing that. So if you use one finger to hold the ratchet out of the way you can then wind it up. Okay, put the ratchet back in place. Right, the string needs to go underneath and hook on to my sharp little peg that I've got there. So that's in position. Just tucking the rest of the string out of the way. Okay, we'll give it another test run. Oh, there we go, halfway over the line. How do we adjust it for distance? Well obviously it's the length of the string. If it's just a little bit over the line there, if you're allowed more than one attempt, what I'll do is wind it up exactly the same am amount as the first time. Take it back to the starting line. Move it back the amount it went too far the first time. And then allow it to go forwards to the line. So it's actually wound a bit of the string around the back. See if I can demonstrate that. So I need to unwind the string. You see the ratchet has actually flicked up out of the way now. Right. So if it went half the car length too far the first time, put the car half the car length behind the line, start line, let it go forwards and wind up the string so that now we're on the start line but we've already gone the amount of distance that it went too far the first time. Does that make sense? It does to me, anyway. So we'll let it go. Oh, look at that. Right on the line. So, there we go. That's fitting a ratchet to the brake mechanism so that we can get accuracy over our three metres. Summary time. This is the car that we modified to put a brake on and we put the bigger back axle for the increased acceleration. Well tonight we fitted a toothed wheel on the inside and we've got this bit of clear plastic that comes off of a pop bottle that rubs against that toothed wheel. When the car's going forwards it just rubs over it. When the car tries to roll back it digs in and stops the car going backwards. So 
we've now got accuracy when we try to stop at the 3 metre mark. The car goes forwards, winds up the bit of string, the string goes tight, that stops the wheels turning, and what happened yesterday was because there's a bit of springiness in that string, the car started going backwards. But with the ratchet, it now can't go backwards. So, I hope that's enough modifications that we've done to this car. I don't intend to do any more at the moment anyway.